morning. So I've had my uh, handles arrive. They're a small New Zealand business and all the little handles come in these individually packed little velvet pouches, which is very cute, but it's a lot of waste, so I might send them back to the company. So these are the ones that I've got for my drawers. And then the other type I have are, these ones are for my wardrobe. So I thought I'd just do something a little bit different since I was kind of doing different designs. So these are the type that I've got for the, um, the wardrobe doors, which I think will look quite cool. And I'll be able to actually hang things on them if I'm feeling lazy and like I can't put it away in the cupboard. And then I've got a couple of smaller versions of the of the big ones, which I think I'll use the smaller ones in the bathroom. So this is where it'll go. Screw it in the back there. Got to close the door like that. That's what it should look like. So they're all brushed brass and they'll be on these cabinets. So here's what the handles look like. They're not properly screwed in yet because I want to do um, some polyurethane on the outside of the plywood, plywood before I attach them. But really happy with how they look. Yay! Hey, so I'm back in my tiny house. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually done any work. Life's just been busy and I haven't really had the time or motivation to do anything, but today I set myself a goal to try and do these four drawer fronts. And um, I've also got to swap out the, the drawer runners on these ones. So I've cut out the first drawer front. I'll swap out this runner and then, yeah, hopefully I get all four done today. That's the goal. Well, it's the end of the day and I got them all done. Lost a bit of motivation there when this drawer wasn't working, but yay! I matched up all the grains in case you didn't notice. The handles aren't actually stuck in yet, but oh man, I love the soft close so much. Way smoother. Wee fun fact for you, this plywood that I've used here and for the cupboard I've cut out for up here was actually in um, the car accident I had in my van. So it was in the van with me and stoked we both made it out in good shape. So today I'm going to try and do my wardrobe doors and I had a plan. I was going to cut out the size of the door, each door, and I was going to cut a, a round hole out of it and put either the burlap behind it or find some cane webbing. And this is my little practice run. 
it looks awful. Like, I did it with a jigsaw, it's not great, it's a bit rough, but I think I'm going to put that to the side at the moment and just cut them all out the right size, full coverage, put the hinges on, see what they look like, because I really like how these drawers have turned out, so I was thinking it might be a bit too much having them all full plywood, but I think I'll give it a go. If I really don't like it, then I can take it off, but I think I don't want to overcomplicate it too much and it to not look good, so that's the plan for the day. <laughs> Pretty bloody good, I'd say. You think that looks good? Yeah, no, I think it does. I think, yeah. Um, jug's boiled, spuds ready. <laughs> Did he put more spuds? Oh, one for you. I've done some meat, so. And some turnips. Oh, you've got the billy boiled? It's boiled now. I'm just going to make this out. I'm just going to take the cup down. Yeah, just a teaspoon of coffee? Thanks. I'll be very long. That's what I've done so far. I've done these two doors, cut them out. Not hinged on yet, but I think I'll just cut out all five and then do all the hinges at the same time. So I've finished the five doors. I've only got eight hinges, so I'll have a go at putting these three smaller doors on. I'm going to need three or four hinges on both of those big doors. Well, I got the first door on. It was very hard. I almost cried at one point, but it's there. It's not completely perfect. I can't get it perfectly flush in that corner, but everything else looks pretty good. day today so I thought I'd make the most of the warmth and put a coat of polyurethane on the cabinets and cupboard doors and stuff. Uh, I've ended up changing and going to a gloss so that it builds up sort of like a glossy layer so that if anything were to spill on the covers I can easily wipe it off so I'm unsure whether I'm going to roll this or brush it. The internet seems to be 
undecided on what's better. So I've got a couple of brushes. I've also got a roller. I'll just see how I go. Change of plan. I think this stuff is going to make it go yellow and I really don't want that. So once lockdown's finished, I'll try and get some of the same stuff that I used on the walls, which didn't change the color at all, but in a gloss finish. I think it's worth waiting for that. So I didn't end up making the most of the nice weather the other day. I got a little bit confused about what I want to do, so I didn't end up doing anything. But I think I've figured out what I'm going to do to coat the drawer fronts and cupboard doors. I think I'm going to put the same matte finish that I've put everywhere else and all the other plywood. Do a couple of coats of that and then put the gloss over top so that it doesn't yellow because that matte finish um, dries almost lighter than the plywood and I think that'll stop the cabinets from yellowing. So I think that's the plan, but I'll do that another day. In the meantime, my um, I've got some more hinges that have arrived. Uh, so I'm going to put the last two doors on and then I might try and put the handles on these five wardrobe doors. I don't know where to go See a lot of colours Only feeling blue There's a lot of colours Lost within a haze Don't rely on others to get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing A wee warning if you end up getting these soft clothes hinges overlay you're gonna get frustrated until you get the hang of them why you're on the open sea Cannot take this anymore There are a lot of voices Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices waiting to be made Too many choices making me afraid cupboards and drawer fronts and they've put all the handles on. I really like how it's looking. Uh, I've cut out this cupboard door. There's going to be a lift up cupboard here. Uh, I just haven't got the like gas strut hinges yet so I'll chuck that up when I can get those hinges. Other than that it's all everything's all done. Uh, I'll, I haven't coated the plywood yet but I'll do that in the next couple of weeks. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. See ya!